I'm on the south end of the mall between Macy's and Sears where people tell me today was absolutely terrifying and what's left now is a parking lot full of cars of people that had no choice but to evacuate. Hosting a Valentine's Day wine tasting at Cooper's Hawk at the Gardens Mall. The next thing you know, we see about 50 to 100 people just run, start booking it. Keeman Ferran quickly helped people into the restaurant and locked the doors. A ton of people were crying. After hearing word of a shooter on property. It seemed more like a uh, screams of people just in terror trying to leave. One man says he was eating a slice of pizza. At least six to ten shots. When he heard the gunfire and took off. We walked past the food court and there was people that had their cell phones still laying next to their food. Just left their cell phones and just ran out. Another man was at Sephora shopping for a Valentine's Day gift when they were rushed to the back of the store and jammed the door closed. I made sure I was last because I kind of I felt like if I could help in any way, you know, what I, mean? I don't want to be just sitting down in the back next to you know, lipstick or anything like that. Stay in safe areas until directed by security. The panic felt across the street at Palm Beach State College as the campus was put on lockdown. It didn't strike me until after the cops were called and they reacted so quickly and like there was really an emergency. An emergency that filled the mall with caution tape and investigators as they searched for the shooter. I got kids waiting for dad, you know what I mean? But it's just like I would never, you know, I've been here a couple times, never thought I would see something like this. Keep in mind that this portion of the parking lot was closed off for hours, but I can't say that it has since reopened and I have seen people coming back to get their cars. Reporting in Palm Beach Gardens, Joel Lopez, WPTV News Channel 5.